Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We are continuing to try and earn enough money to go on a tour to earn more money. And, as been pointed out in the comments, and it's actually a very good point, this tour will earn more than a normal tour, because we're planning on doing feasts everywhere we go, right? Feasts lower your stress. Lowering our stress allows us to demand payments, because payments cost us stress. So, we will actually get like 50 gold for every feast that we do as well, for at least a couple of them, which means that we're going to get even more money. So if we can actually go on one of these, we're great, we're fantastic, everything is great. However, the problem is earning enough cash to actually go. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Um, in terms of other things, I just want to double check. Uh, yeah, you're fine, you're all doing your stuff. Um, and it's been pointed out that Vladimir's War is actually a way that we could potentially lower the amount of land that Vladimir holds. Because if we have a look at Vladimir here, we will see that they are currently defending against Jarl Einar, the Peaceful of Estonia, in the Estonian War for the Jarldom of Estonia. Now the Jarldom of Estonia is this little bit of land right there, that's what they're declaring for. If we ask Vladimir to give up in their war, which currently has Vladimir and White Rus in it, so they're gonna win, right? Like, they are almost certainly gonna win this war. If we ask them to give up, then that bit of land, in theory, will go to Estonia, which would be great, because then Estonia are stronger, and maybe they can start integrating some more of their realm. It's actually a kinda cool idea. Um, also, just checking Livonia here. What's the du jour Livonia? Oh, it's there. Oh, Estonia only actually has two bits of land. Never mind. Them being stronger doesn't matter in the slightest. But Vladimir being weaker does. We're going to ask them. We'll say, hey, why don't you get the right menu here eventually? Why don't we just ask you to end your war? He might say no, but I mean, the worst that happens is we lose 10 opinion. So there we go. Right. And now we're going to unpause. Uh, He said no. We actually lost another 20 opinion, but I mean, like, we lost 30 opinion and he still has 74 opinion. Like, it's not the biggest deal in the world. The Negotiator. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of Novgorod, my daughter Gurley runs up to me. Mother, they've just started swinging at one another when... She's interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court, circling each other in preparation for another tussle. I'm going to tell them to break it up. There's a chance we gain the firm hand perk. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, I think Wards and Wardens, I might have been this one or it might have been the other one that was near it. They added in a lot of these ones where you could just gain random perks, which is kind of cool. So firm hand perk. Sorry, I'm just moving this around so I can actually read it without actually getting rid of it. Where is the firm hand? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so we can get this perk. There are some. It might be the university ones that give it... Uh, give you stuff here. There are some that allow you to just get perks that are like halfway down a perk tree. It's very weird. Anyway, 5% chance? We didn't get it. Oh well. Uh, malingering scent. In times like these, it's best to be wary of any strange smells. This one, however, emanates from the corner of a market. This is the sachets one. Uh, so we can become overly fragrant for 15 years. Lowers uh, close family and counselor opinion. Also gives us more stress loss and lowers our stress. I will take it. I'm then immediately going to spend 50 to get some extra money. Why am I doing that? Well, because I'm trying to get to the point where we can actually do the taxation tour, which we reckon is about 600 gold. Ish. A fireside story. Come closer, I have a story I wish to tell you, my friend Thorin says, beckoning me towards the bonfire. It's a story of when my uncle Fririker, unable to carry their own massive frame. Yes, my uncle. Thorin smirks and continues to tell the story as the flames from the bonfire lick the night sky. Dear Cracker, remember the moral of the story. Death comes for us all. Make sure it comes to your foes before it does for you. This was our cousin Fririker, um, uh, who was the grandchild of Fririker. Ah, okay. And say, what a story. We get diplomacy or intrigue. I think that's what that means. It, I mean, technically that's not what it says here. What it says is there's 50% chance of getting this and 50% chance of getting this. It doesn't say it's an and or, but... I'm assuming it is. Or we can lose 23 stress. I'm going to lose 23 stress. You know why? Because now I can get another 50 gold. Thank you very much. Right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, right. Yeah, you converted the faith somewhere. Wonderful. Great job. Uh, Convert there. Right. Next. Demand artifact. 
You would like to own my stone. But it's mine. Um. No. Okay. Easy enough. War declared. Northman army conquest. Those are still happening. Okay. Uh, I'll wait for the event. Come on, where's the event? Oh, these guys are joining the Northman Army Conquest. Pomerania and, uh, Oakland. Okay, but, like, where's the event? There we go. Right. We'll fight them the old-fashioned way. Okay. Now, where is their leader? So, zoom in. Then use this, and now it moves it. They are currently in the Baltic Sea, right about here. Alright, we'll wait. Okay, they're coming around this way. You into my capital? No. I've exposed that Driffa murdered Dan. Who's Dan? Oh, why did you murder him, Driffa? You're a murderer now. You've got a negative trait. Okay. Oh, I got a dynasty legacy. Hey, we finished all of that last time. That's fantastic. Uh, what are we going for next? So we took the first one, which was sent to the Varangian Guard, which is pretty good, right? But it's not really something that we're going to need to expand into further. What does gift givers get us? Lowering uh, send gift cost is actually quite nice. The raiding stuff doesn't matter, obviously. Su seduce su success chance and more prestige for successful seduce schemes. The riskier seduction, the more prestige gained. All right. Strange gods makes different faiths um, like us more. Hostile scheme success chance goes down. Okay. Can befriend vassals. Each of your friends gives you like a tiny bonus. All right. Um, I don't think we need this. I mean, decentralized rule is kind of okay. This is kind of okay. But honestly, like, I don't think we need any of this. Let's look at some of the new stuff. So, uh, we can get a new legend seed. But honestly, we should like not get a new legend seed until we have a pile of money. That's kind of our main issue with legends. We are we don't have enough money to support them. Which is an interesting thing about the legend system is that they really require quite a lot of input from you. So, interesting. Rightful rulers, uh, control growth and popular opinion. Doesn't matter too much, but the popular opinion is quite nice for our um, elect elective stuff. Each heir starting with the last eight... Starts with the lasting line modifier and boosting the legitimacy for 10% for their first 10 years in power. Okay, because you... Okay, the logic here is because your line is continuing, you get more legitimacy. Okay. Sons of our fathers. Yet Dynasty Opinion unlocks access to the espouse legitimacy intent and allowing you to build legitimacy during some activity such as a funeral feast and grand wedding. Our legitimacy is never low. I have noticed since we've um, kind of got it up high, it's never dropped back down. I wonder if that's because of elective. I get the feeling that there's probably some things with um, like primogenitor or um, confederate partition or partition that cause your legitimacy to go down that doesn't happen with elective. I kind of get that feeling, but obviously I haven't tried it out without um, elective really, so yeah. Um, but that's interesting. Divine Mandate. Vassals are less likely to join Dissolution Factions and Claimant Factions. Actually just not useful at all. This is completely useless. This doesn't solve your problem. Right? Like, if your vassals are joining Dissolution Factions and Claimant Factions, you've done something wrong. So, that's not useful. Uh, Deo et uh, Mondois. Uh, select a 5th level education trait to make more common within your dynasty. I don't want to sound negative, but this is actively bad. Right? The reason this is actively bad is because universities, the way that you gain the 5th level education trait, are actively good. Right? It's good to go to the university because you get a ton of bonuses for going to the university. Right? And if you don't get the education trait when you go to the university, you can get those bonuses again. But if you have a 5th level education trait, you can't go to university Therefore, making this an actively bad thing to take, because it means that uh, you can never go to universities and you can never get the bonuses that you get from going to universities. It's, yeah, it's weird. I, I don't know why you would ever, I, I just don't know why you would ever take this. This just seems odd. I guess maybe 
Okay, here, here's an argument. Maybe if you choose an education trait, which is not one that you want to educate your heirs with, maybe that is something that would be good, right? So if you're like, I'm going to educate my heirs with diplomacy, martial, or stewardship, right? I'm going to do one of those three. I'm never going to do intrigue, or I'm never going to do learning. Maybe making learning, or actually learning would be a good one. Maybe making learning more common. Maybe that would be good here. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Maybe if you make an education trait like learning more common in your dynasty, you can choose for your heirs that you want them to be in something that's useful for leading your nation. And then everybody else is going to have really high uh, learning amounts, which then means that they're going to end up being able to fill positions like your court uh, physician. They're going to be able to fill uh, the religious role on your council. They're going to be able to be uh, your court tutor. Okay, actually, okay, I've turned my I've turned my opinion around. I think it's minorly useful. I still don't think it's incredible, but I, I it, it, there is a use for it. Okay, I've changed my mind. I think that educating your heirs with this is a bad idea, but I think that there are other reasons to do things. Okay. Um. I think that this would be fine for one point. I don't really know if we need to go all the way down there. Heroes of old. I'm just seeing what we got here. Uh, gain access to the ancestral claim Cassus Belly on any claims gained through a legitimizing legend. Interesting. What? What does it tell me? What this is? Allows you to annex all lands within a title with which you have reclaimed gained through the legitimizing legend. It is what it says on the tin. Okay. Gain the venerated ancestor trait upon completion of a mythical holy legend. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. It also makes legend creation discount go down. I guess the, the, this is probably the main bit. Legend creation discount going down is pretty useful. Yeah. Okay, and legendary watchtower building upon completing a legend. Okay, this is pretty nice. It gives you increases size of men at arms regiments. Across all of them, which is pretty good. Okay. Hmm. But again, I don't want to do that till I have money. I could take rightful rulers. And then, of course, we have the options of all the normal stuff down here, which is, uh, like, House of Warriors, really good. Gets you prowess and knight effectiveness. Uh, mostly fair. Oh, is there something in here that lets us invite people to our courts? Uh, there might be something. Vibrant court? Better guests will be attracted. Yeah, okay. Maybe I take that. Yeah. Maybe we go down here. I don't think I need the rest of this. But I think that this one is actually a good single point. It makes guests cheaper to recruit, which solves some money issues, and gives you better guests. Sure. Let's take Vibrant Court. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. Uh, they are pretty much going to my capital. Wonderful. That's exactly what we want them to do. Right. Uh, go here. Raise all of our troops. That's fine, we'll make a ton of money off of this. Let's not worry about it. Okay, they actually didn't go to my capital. They went to, like, an area nearby my capital. Okay. What did they declare for, by the way? The Aldom of Holmgarther. So even if we lose, we're not losing that much. But we don't want to lose anyway. But it's just good to check. Uh, let's put my husband in charge here. That's fine. We don't want to die, but our husband dying would be fine. Um. Also in here. here we go just get rid of it saying we have a new pop-up picking up the padded swords for a sparring match with my daughter girly are we educating girly no okay we just have a lot of events with her um and what is a tattered journal on the sideboard from the cover it seems to contain exercises and best practices pertaining to the martial arts girly glances in my direction oh that thing i mostly read it for the illustrations you can borrow it i mean say interesting Grasp the hilt, not the pointy end, gets us martial. Or we can further her martial education progress. Yes, uh, we will further her martial education progress. That sounds good. Okay, court grandeur went down a level. That's fine. And let's attack. They are now drawn into the attack. And because it's a Northman army... Um, uh, this I think this is... Somebody climbing up to Drifa's window. Someone's climbing up to my daughter's window. Because it's a Northman army, sorry. Um, 
yeah, the war ends immediately. Because they uh, just die. They don't actually, um, like, they don't retreat. So there we go, we won. Love to see it. Gain legitimacy for winning. We can now ransom Count Torgals, this random dude. Alright, we'll ransom you. And now we have a ton of money. Because that's the way it works. Egel? Um... If only you were actually any good. I mean, your marshal's kinda okay. But if you were good, the organizer's a great trait to have. On the other hand, uh, you could convert and... Uh, you could give me a weak who can go away. There we go. You? Nope. Don't think you're very good. Right. Um, now we have the money for a tour. Let's just wait for these people to leave my prison. We can go on a big tour now, actually, because we have a lot more money. Love to see it. Right. Uh, we also have more legitimacy now, so we could, in theory, do some more managing of our courtiers, but we'll leave it for a little bit. How much do we need here? We need 1,800. Yeah, so we'll let that build up a little bit of a uh, gap before thinking about doing that sort of thing again. It also gives us some time for our um, tyranny to wear off as well, which would be nice. Right. Uh, where are we? Grand Tour. Plan a grand tour, a taxation tour. Is the Vladimir War ended? <laughs> Wait, no. I thought... Uh, no, they are still in it. That's fine. Um, wait, so who... Oh, who's this down here then? Oh, it's some random Karachev. Who's Karachev? Because you're a part of Ruthenia. Alright. Did you just become independent from White Russ or something? Yeah, White Russ has many problems. I see. Okay. Oh, well, that makes sense. Wait, does that mean that White Russ left your war? It does. Because now Finland is in your war instead of White Russ. Wait, why does Finland hold land over... Why does... Oh, okay. That's fine. So you're Prince of Finland because you're married to... Oh, because you're the son of Finland, but you didn't inherit Finland because we have elect... Okay, yeah, because we have Scandinavian elective. I forgot. Right, it's all the naming conventions are completely out of the window because of Scandinavian elective. Because uh, because he's the son of the queen, he gets to be called prince, even though the queen is dead and someone else is um, queen or king now. Or queen now. Okay, well that makes sense. Right. Grand tour, taxation tour. Let's set up a little bit of some moving around here. So I probably want to do something a little bit like that. Go here. Um, want to go to Jarmaland. I'm just checking, like, Jarl, Countess, Jarl. It's more important, I think, to go to Jarls and Dukes than it is to go to um, Counts, although this Count is right next to us. So we maybe want to go there eventually. Uh, how many have I got left? Got four. So let's go here. 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 And then. Go here. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a very big tour. Okay, it's going to cost a lot of money to do, but it is going to be worth it. And then we want to go to a feast in every single one of these because we don't care about um, cultural acceptance. There we go. Done. Uh, there are some dangers. Okay, it's here, so we need mountaineering. Which I don't think costs that much. Um, where are we? Mountaineer? Yeah, it costs almost nothing. And then plague danger. I don't think I'm worried about that, although it is a little close. Wait, is that where the plague is, or is the plague somewhere else? I don't know. I thought that was where the plague was, but I guess not. Uh, we could take a Plague Guy anyway. How much does it cost us? Eight? Yeah, I'll take a Plague Danger one, just in case there's random Plague. We're now at 1,020. That's ten closest courtiers will accompany you prestige gain. Every available courtier, or five closest. I don't need courtiers. I don't need prestige gain from this. That's not why we're doing this. This one can increase the success chance of our tour and give us more prestige gain. Here's the thing, we're going to 10 places. We don't need any um, increase to the base um, 
success for a tour because we're going to so many places we're going to get to max anyway so we might as well save the money okay uh justice this would give us increase to control and just characters may lose stress are we just i don't think so well we might be uh no we're not because we're generous if it were generous and just i'd be even more annoyed right that's fine um popular opinion and piety lechery or we can just go with recreation we'll just go with recreation let's get some stress re relief here uh and now we want to look at our route and just see if there's anywhere we want to go so from novgorod i obviously want to go to luki because it's on the way right that seems like a very easy little detour so anywhere else i want to go uh yes so after vipuri this one uh we want to go here cool uh, do we want to go to these things as well while we're here? We can maybe get a martial perk if I do. So that is... Yeah, so that's 400. Uh, that's learning. Okay. So that's 400. We could go for... Uh, let me just see if there's any others we're getting. We're getting another over here. So that's 600. So if we go to two, then we'll get a martial perk. Yeah, so let's go to those two. So that is after this one. We want to go here. And we want to go here. Okay, there's now bet more danger due to forest. Okay, ditch that. Let's grab some forest guides. There we go. So we can head through there. That should give us... One, two, three, four... Five Marshall, which will then get us uh, a perk. Cool. That seems worth doing. And I think we're ready to go. Right. Let's go then. Okay. We got some people hired. That's fine. Yeah. I think we're ready. And we lose stress just for starting. Hey, you know what that means? That means that I can go in here and go, Ooh, we'll take 50 more gold. Wonderful. So we already made 50 gold back. Life of a ruler. Several peasants gather around me asking for stories from my life. Think back on two stories I could tell them. One where I became ruler of the Empire of Gartheriki. The other is when I commanded and won the Battle of Mar Martiuba against Artio. Um, we'll tell a war story because that will lose the stress. And increases our levy size. Or increases the county of Rusa's levy size. Which I guess doesn't matter too much. You would like to challenge me for an artifact in single combat. What artifact? I don't know. Anyway, I'll challenge you in single combat. I've got 45 prowess. What are you thinking? You're going to get destroyed. Okay. Wait, is really her? It's not like a champion or something? No, you're going to get destroyed. Okay. Um, I'm the fastest blade in Gartheriki. High, low. My form was good. Hers is passable. We'll then use our berserker gang rip and tear, rip and tear. Very high chance of success, medium chance of injury. Excellent versus passable. I'm the fastest blade in Gartheriki. Excellent fa uh, failing. Strike power repost. High medium. We won. Okay, and we gained a rival. Well, I mean, like, you challenged me. To be quite frank, it's your fault. Anyway, I won. So, there. They wanted the iridescent stone. Since when did this become the uh, most fought-after commodity in the world? Okay. Well, there's some martial lifestyle experience. Wait, did that? Was that enough? Oh. Um. All right. I'll take stalwart leader. That's a great single perk. Means that we're gonna die. We are less chance of us dying. Seems good. Can I change my travel here? Yes, I can customize my route. Okay. Just thinking. One, two, three. Four. If we go to one more, then we can get, uh, yeah. We can get another uh, perk. So instead of going to Warno. So, wait. So it goes Upland, this one. Which is whatever one this one is. Is that Findem? Yeah, it's this one. So after that. Let's take the order I want to do this. Um, I think after this one, I want to go here. Yeah, and then come back. That seems right. Okay, apply. Cool. Right. 
A stop on the way, travelling through the muddy streets of Neville, people are a rare sight. Empty houses, derelict, a child plays with a dog in silence and hides away when he sees our entourage. A local priest points at the Lord's home and we follow. My admired Empress Kraka, Thegan, and Anunder welcomes us into a dusty hallway. It's an honour to have you visit our humble domain. If you'd like, please stay for the night and join us for supper. Um... Okay. Uh, the oil lamps um, cast a light so feeble it's nearly imperceptible. An old servant serves us food, fish, unspiced. Thegan An Anunder seems a little too nervous talking about the difficulties of ruling such a poor area than possible taxation. Last priest we had left just after a few months. This guy really have no money? He has tons of money. Anyway. He mutters, putting away the watered wine. He probably excused himself to go to the latrine, accidentally bumping into me on the way. Uh, so, he's going to try and steal money from us. Let's see if we notice. We did not notice. Wonderful. Okay. We were turned away. Excuse me? You turned me away? Um. Well. Okay. Is that because you have, like, disease in your realm or something? No. You just turned me away. Okay. The call is made for Queen Skald of Lithuania uh, to receive me, but after a time that's more than generous, not even a lowly servant appears to greet me. The call is made many more times, but we receive no answer save for the chirps of wild birds and the whistle of gentle winds. Okay. We can break down the gates. That'll make, um... Uh, yeah, that'll make my subjects unhappy. The insult will not be forgotten. Okay. Or, let's just move along. I guess we will move along. Although, hey, look at that. I gained 54 gold out of nowhere from, from arriving here. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting that you can go somewhere like, we're going here to get collect taxes. And they can just be like, uh, we're not home. You know. We've closed the door. I'm not sure that actually works. You're a dynastic kinslayer. Oh, who did you murder? Okay. Did you actually murder someone? Uh, her mother died under s mysterious circumstances. Uh, the most recent one. Father died from smallpox. Uncle died to fatal apoplexy. Who did she murder? Why are you a dynastic kinslayer? Um, or were you one before? And then... I'm just trying to see here. Uh, yeah, according to this, you didn't murder anyone. I think, unless it was one of these mysterious circumstances and it got revealed, then maybe she killed her mother or ma or her sister. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, um, I guess I'll pardon you. Be pardoned. Uh, your neighbor has won against somebody. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Aha! A feast! Uh, let's see here. Um... He assures me this is only the finest food he has to offer. Wonderful. Right, so we lose stress. Oh, would you look at that? Now we can go in here and we can find a nice big payment and we can take it. Wonderful. So now we're even richer. We've made back half the money that we spent on the tour. It's not bad. Uh, your neighbor won in a war against the tyranny. Okay, somebody learned the Finnic language while at the feast. A anyway, in 22 more gold. And this is why we don't need to increase the base success of the tour. I mean, look how far through we are already. Like, this is easily going to hit max by the time we get here. Or, like, by the time we get to the max one. Which is quite a reasonable increase. The development growth in capital is quite nice. Okay, we have to tell a story. Another evening of merriment draws to a close, and I find myself locked in conversation with Galeen of all people. Before I know it, the room has become silent, safe for our conversation, and everyone is hanging on my next word. Though a little awkward, I'm sure I can tell a tale that everyone will here will be delighted by. So we can tell something tragic or light. Um, is exactly the same. We will tell something light. Okay, making more money. As you can see, the pop-ups here. Uh, you can look at the full log of what's happening, but um, yeah, we're we're probably not going to. But uh, very often, but there is a full log in here. You can see like, oh, here's every little thing that happened during the tour. It's not that important, though. Hey, I am friends with Cylinder. Okay. Uh, you want to come to my court? Yes. 
because he is your friend is a plus 75. Okay, it's good that we know how much that is now, plus 75. So if we see somebody who has a more than 75 reason not to join us, we know there's no reason there. Unless, of course, it's opinion, I guess, because we could also get one quarter opinion added. But anyway, we'll invite Cylinder to our court. Let's do a little search. We're searching for all. I guess I should probably make a, fill, a preset for this, but let's not worry about that. All who are in my religion who are sorted by... Let's sort by prowess and just see if we got anybody here to invite. Um. Yeah, can I do an age search here? No. Okay, so we're just going to manually scroll till I see an age that I'm happy with. Like a, a, a younger person. 34. I'm a, I have sorted the wrong direction. <laughs> Wait, we have the highest prowess in our religion. Well, we're supposed to be doing a 50. Thorn Snorfari. You seem pretty good. Oh, wait, no. No, we looked at you previously. You're a woman, and therefore you are useless as a commander because you are not a shield maiden. And wait, shield maidens are the only ones allowed, and we're not allowed to make you a shield maiden. I guess that's a reason to get adoption, right? If we can get adoption in, we can take this 25-year-old, adopt them, and say, they are a member of our house, and therefore we can make you a shield maiden. There's a random restriction for no reason, but we, we would be able to do it. All right. Well, I'm fortunate. Who is the next best? You. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you. Let's befriend him. Wonderful. Right. Carrying on. This person is choking. Everyone is making merry at dinner, and I tell another of my legendary jokes to much laughter and applause and coughing. I look round and see Galeen clutching her throat tight and hacking heavily, growing red in the face. It seems my joke may be been a little too good for her. I could leap to the rescue, of course, but is that really my concern? I mean, it's like a 100% chance we save her, and it's good for us. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. My court physician, Marwa, has approached me, claiming to be given jokes as start Cathars of Latgalian's permission to come join his court in place of my own. Uh, no. <laughs> a life saved. Uh, this person can become our friend. So we could recruit this person if we wanted to. Although, wait, can we even invite her? No, because she's in a patrilineal marriage. I would have to invite him. Okay, that's fine. Or you owe me your life and I get a hook. Eh, we'll get a strong hook. That's fine. Right. He's joined our court. Wonderful. He is now our champion and he has great stats. Why don't we find you somebody Herculean to marry? Or Amazonian. Yeah, whatever. The same trait. There is nobody? Alright then. Is there a genius for you to marry? No. Okay, is there someone... Beautiful for you to marry. No. Alright. Is there someone robust? Actually, is there a giant that you can marry who isn't the one who's a bleeder? Yes, you could marry Ingbjorg. Sure, you will marry Ingbjorg. And that gives us a chance of getting an Herculean giant as a vassal who would have a huge health boost and a minor health penalty. That would be very good. Right, carry on. Oh yeah, back to this screen. Wonderful. What's that? Conversion fervor. Get some levy size where the conversion's happening. I know you expected more pastry, my empress, but Cook assures me that every last one went missing just before it was ready to be served. We tried to catch the thief, but the gluttonous villain was too elusive. We can lose stress or have a 50% chance of losing stress. I'll take the 50% chance. Okay, we failed to find the person. Hey, I can um, take tribute here, and apparently I gain, uh, sorry, I lose stress because I'm wrathful. That's fantastic, that's, that's great. I was worried that we would gain stress because we're generous, but no, I'll take my uh, tribute. Thank you very much. I lie peacefully in Duke 
start Cathur's finest bedroom, not a quarrel or worry in, in my mind. Suddenly, though, I'm torn from my dreamless sleep by a loud, menacing cackle coming from the end of the hall. I emerge reluctantly, my unsteady hand shaking my candle in the dim light, and stare down the hall. I swear what I uh, see standing at the end of the long, dark corridor is some sort of evil spirit. It whispers at me, calling my name, perhaps wishing to drag me to... Uh, to... Uh, to Onella. Whatever it wants, I must act to save myself. There's a chance a hook has gained on us or against stress. Alright, where are we? Uh, not Ingbjorg, you. Uh, here, ha have a gift. Right. I'm not going to lose stress and I'm not going to have a hook uh, placed on us. Right. Barricade the door. Wonderful. Carry on. And now we're off. And we've arrived at the next place. Hey, we've also converted our culture. So we have another piece of our culture converted. We've almost wiped out Estonian. Let's um, get you to work on uh, the last bit of Estonia. Okay, and then we can work on the next culture. That is definitely spreading. Yeah, that is spreading all by itself. Interesting. Wait, it's spread over here as well. We didn't do this. Do the do the vassals actually convert lands now? Interesting. You think the reason they weren't converting it before? I have a new theory. Okay, so previously we saw it happen once, right? And it was with a previous culture that had then got converted, right? So uh, in my last campaign, I think we were playing over here and we merged with Norse, and then we saw Denmark, which was Norse, convert to our culture, right? Here, we see, we're seeing some Norse bit, and we're seeing some other bits over here. What if it's not that the AI won't convert culture? What if it's the AI won't leave their counselor on the convert culture task long enough to convert culture? It's minorly different, but I think that could be true, right? It could simply be that this task, because by default it's something like 15 years or something, right? It could be that this task just takes too long, and then the AI switches, and then switches back, and then that causes it to reset. So it could be that the AI is constantly trying to do it, and failing. But in our case, they might be succeeding because we have communal identity as part of our religion, so we're actually making it quicker to convert, especially if, and this is why I think this might be true, especially if it's in land which is, uh, which was previously our culture, right? Like the Norse land. Like if I was to do over here, this only takes two years. So what I'm wondering is, uh, is the reason it converted in our previous playthrough because it was land that we previously converted because it took less time, right? It could just purely be because the physical time to complete was so much lower that um, they were just able to do it. It's it's not that the AI won't. It's just that the AI can't commit to something for five or like for ten years. That's an interesting thought. And then I wonder, actually, on top of that, is it because of how I play that the AI aren't doing it? Because the way I play generally, and actually, this might be a change because previously I only did like twenty-five minute episodes, and I'm doing like forty minutes to an hour. It could be, because I reload the game before each episode I record, that the AI decides what it's going to do with its counselors when you reload the game. Therefore, it changed it every time we reloaded the game. And it's not doing that in this case because we let the game run for longer. That's interesting. I wonder. Hmm. Might need to... Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say might need to look into it, but... I mean, that would involve me looking into the code myself, and that's not going to happen. So, um, yeah. Interesting. I'll keep my theories to myself. But I, I think that could be how it works. Right. Um, I say I'll keep my theories to myself, having just said it out loud. Anyway. There we go. A talented wanderer. Seems they're not the only... A honoured guest at Jarl Asa of Livonia's court. This evening I've been sat next to the fascinating Gundas, and our conversation has left me feeling most elated. 
not understand the world and great legends like I do, Magnanimous Empress. If you'd have me, I'd be honored to lend my skills to your court. Okay. Do we want Gundas? No, you're terrible. Be gone. Oh, no, I meant to click be gone, not just close the thing. There we go. A pint or two. My hostess brought uh, me out of her home to a local tavern. All around I see wretched and weak engaged in drink and debauchery, but your Asa assures me that the wine served in this establishment is simply to die for. Well, I'm not going to die. Uh, I will say this is really nice, and we'll move on. Okay. And uh, this evening I'm sat I'm seated next to Jarl Asa's daughter-in-law, Sik, watching as she sighs into her plates with longing. Truly, I grow tired of life here in Metsipol and long to elevate my station in life. My talents are wasted here, and lately I've been thinking of slipping off with you back to Novgorod, where I can really show what I'm worth. You any good? Nope. Um, you can become my friend, but you cannot join my court. What's this? Offer concubine. You'd like me to take Atnar as a concubine? No. <laughs> okay, that was easy enough. Although maybe I should have said yes, because like it's not like we're having children with these people, but then we're getting bad people in our court, so it doesn't really matter. Our friend died, by the way, so our stress went back up. By the way, we gained 38 stress for a friend dying? We gained 38 stress for asking somebody for money that they owe us. Like, they owe us a favor and we're like, can you pay it back in cash? And and that's like as stressful as a friend dying to us. Just for context. But, saying, hey, I've just been staying at your house a while, give me some money, that's not stressful to us. Okay. Memorable performance. Simiorl Asa of Lith of Livonia has decided to put on a performance for my amusement this evening. I sit at the feast table, eagerly awaiting my entertainment, when Jarl Asa of Livonia appears before me in armour. Behold, I am the mighty Khan Batulia of Bashkiria, and I will deliver the vile uh, Empress Kraka of Gartheriki to her maker personally. Before I can respond, a wooden sword is placed in my hand. This is no doubt a performance of the time I was victorious in Khan um, Patulia's war. I wonder, should I indulge this? Sure, why not? I lose stress, and she becomes my friend. Wonderful. Um, I arrive at dinner early today and find I'm alone with Yol Asa of Livonia's heir, Rasa. She's still young and visibly intimidated by to be sharing the room with her empress. It'd be also easy to manipulate the poor thing to give me her legal pledge of loyalty early, but this would definitely upset Yol Asa of Livonia. I can say, let's do this. Well, let's just make conversation. Let's just make conversation. She became my friend. We're collecting a lot of friends. She has refused to give me my money. That is shocking. We can rightfully imprison her now. But, I mean, we don't need to do anything with it, really. Uh, we could pardon her, I suppose. Do we need to take any land off Livonia? Livonia holds the county and the Jarldom and nothing more. No, honestly, you hold the land that you're meant to hold. I'm going to pardon you. Not just because you're my friend. Well, almost exclusively because you're my friend. Experienced fighter. This guy's in our court. Okay. 43. He's got... Uh, he's got, sorry, 23 prowess. Is he any good? Let's have a look. Uh, he would become a champion. Yeah, I'll recruit you. That's fine. It cost me 77. That's fine. Hey, this better guess thing is already working out. Okay. Local hero. Uh, this is the one where we've got a hero and we can choose to patronize them. We're going to do it because it lowers our stress. And it gives some bonuses, which is quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can now demand payments with our lowered stress. Let's get a little money here. Have we got any more money we can make? Make another 50? Sure. Alright, so we made back the money that we spent, like, on that, uh, significantly. I'm not going to spend money to know the future. We don't have a wet nurse, but I suspect that's because he's come of age now. What did he get? He got Brilliant Strategist and Forder. That's pretty good. Uh, Link Struggle. Our journey is violently interrupted by the sound of uh, tearing flesh and gnashing jaws, and the desperate cries of a man about to meet his end. The noise is so horrific it must come from the depths of... Uh, Tuonella. 
Attempting to track the source, we find a desperate champion struggling with a wild lynx. His blade is wedged between the beast's jaws, but his grip is beginning to falter. Um, do I want to recruit him to my court? No. Um, I will get Drifa to help. Okay. Need a new steward. New steward is going to be this Drifa. We have a lot of Drifas. Right, that's fine. Carry on. And we have made it here. Oh yeah, I wanted to see the uh, one will lose stress for arriving. The two, uh, I wanted to see one. How, how good is this guy? It's a fortune builder. I thought you said he was a forder. This can't be the person then. This must be the person who was educating. Yeah, which, which child was it? Was it you? Yes, it was you. Okay, that's actually pretty good stats as well. You can be a shield maiden. Wonderful. So that now means she has 28 martial and 22 prowess. Nice. Okay. Who's my heir, by the way? I've completely forgotten. It's Ingerther. Okay. We can do better than that. We can definitely do better. Our health is only fine right now. We should look to see whether we can get a better heir. Let's have a look. Who, who's being voted for? So obviously nearly everybody is voting for her. Is that because they're voting I trust the judgment of a ruler I like? Yeah. I trust the judgment of a ruler I like. I trust the judgment of a ruler I like. Yeah, yeah. So if I switch, they might switch. People are voting for my nephew. Uh, Yat Varther. Okay. Do a little mark on him. Just like a maybe. Uh, come to my court, nephew. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish your education here. You're doing an intrigue education? I think you're doing a diplomacy education. Uh, I guess you could do an intrigue one, but I don't really want an intrigue heir. You're going to do a diplomacy education, and we're going to change your educator. Yeah, you're not going to educate this person any longer. He's instead going to be educated by... Let's see here. Do we have a, we have a genius, right? Rolfer, my nephew. Yes, you're going to educate him. Perfect. Right, do so. Uh, the main benefit of educating him is that the final role is done with your current educator. Which is why it matters. Uh, we should now be able to put in a wet nurse, right? No? I thought we would be able to put in one, because we have a child in our court. But I guess it has to be our child. Okay. That's fine. Uh, back to this. Tasty treats. 0% chance I die. I will lose stress either way, though. I don't really want the health negative, though. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Till death do us part, my husband died. Okay, let, let's just, uh, before we do that. Hey, nephew. Have some money. Wonderful. He just came of age. He has got a terrible thing. Why don't you go to the Varengian Guard? Right. Uh, okay, that's fine. He's dead. We didn't lose a ton of stress. Uh, okay. This evening I've been sat next to Astrither, and the child has been a true delight. The more I speak with her, the more I see potential for her to be molded into my image. Um, I feel the urge to take her back home as my ward, but I couldn't do such a thing without her mother, and she could ask something of me in return. Um, I don't really want Countess Bodo to get a hook on her, and I don't really think she's that good. I haven't the time. Right. Okay. We need a new uh, husband. We are looking for somebody probably with... Actually, do... yeah, I don't need them to be fertile, and I don't need them to be a giant. There we go. <laughs> Changes our list, rather. Let's look for some of all skills. Yeah, this guy seems good. Yeah. Like, he seems absolutely fine. He's the wrong religion, but I mean, his uh, traits are pretty good, and that's really why we're marrying him. Right, cool. Uh, we would like you to convert to our faith. You don't want to do that. How about if I sent you, like, a little gift? Would you then convert to our faith? No, you don't really want to do that, but okay. Well, we'll send it off anyway. Right, next off, we need to... Just have a little look here. You were managing domain. Do I even need you to manage domain? We can afford to lose two stewardship. Yes, we need you to manage domain. 
Okay, cool. You refuse to convert. We kind of thought that might be the case. Right, back in here. Um, it has been a long and wondrous evening of revelry and merriment, with many a goblet of wine has been shared between me and my good host. However, it would seem that Countess Bodil has been trying to drink more than me, always filling her own goblet a little higher than mine. Is this some sort of implicit challenge? Perhaps I'll set the stakes here. You underestimate my prowess. Sure, let's do that. We, um... Oh, she rejected the challenge. Okay, I'm gonna, like, say, hey, why don't you uh, give me some money? But before I do that, I'm gonna gain some stress by, um... Going down here and demanding payment. Let's get somebody who's maxed out. Let's get 15 gold here. Then we're going to go back to here and we're going to say... Well, I'm to us demanding payment. Anyway. Uh, another dinner has been prepared for me during my stay and it looks like a real winner. Um, I salivate just to look at the succulent steamy dish and right as I'm about to take my first bite, an irritatingly familiar voice pierces my eardrums. My rival and vassal Duchess Ingrither has arrived to spoil my appetite. I've, I'll endure, uh, I've endured worse. That's fine. I'll take my tribute. That's fine, and we're off. A jewel demanded. Are you any good? N not really. Uh, we will simply walk over you. Right. Neighboring rulers are winning some wars against tyr uh, tyrannies of types. Okay. That's fine. And I think that this is probably a good point to end the episode. We've made back pretty much all the money we spent on the uh, taxation tour. We're ha only about halfway through. We're getting a ton more lifestyle experience as we go around as well, which will be great. This nephew I do not think is going to be our heir. I just don't see that happening. So we'll unmark him. We need to find a better heir. We'll maybe have a look at that next time. Yeah, maybe have a little look in here. I'm assuming he doesn't have the same vote score. Or if he does, he has the vote score because, he, yeah, he's got one person voting for him. Literally. Oh, I was going to say literally everybody else. Uh, no, one other person is voting for her. Almost everybody else is voting for our um, player Aaron's sister, but I'm assuming that's because they're voting with us. If we switch, we might be able to find someone better. Like, maybe Girly, my uh, daughter? You know what? Girly, our daughter, I think, looks pretty good. If I vote for her, let's just float it. Let's see how people think. Uh, your candidate. I'll not support the pawn of a tyrant. Oh. Okay, well, how about you? Mmm. Mmm. Well, you know, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to vote for, uh, our daughter, Girly. Let's vote for her across the board. Was that Lapland I just did? Yeah. Then we'll do Estonia. Then we'll go, uh, Holmgarther. Let's just see if anybody's gonna like, vote with us. Den of Sin. We'll have a drinking binge for... Oh, I don't want a drinking binge. No, that lowers my health for five years. Run away or lost. As we managed to get through a dangerous path in Sumero, we decided to rest for a night. As I walk around the encampment, suddenly a strange feeling that someone is missing bothers me. Ask around and everyone uh, seems to agree on one thing. They don't remember seeing Einstein um, all day. He was keeping the rear guard as we entered the, a war-torn province, and I suppose it wasn't best knowing his bravado. He's probably gunning for the front lines. Unless he's lost somewhere in the taiga. So we can try and find him with an intrigue prowess challenge. Let's do an intrigue, um, yeah, intrigue prowess challenge against him. We brought him back. Okay. I'll take th this guy, the guy who I just brought back. I <laughs> don't know why it was like... You can choose someone new. And I'm like, okay, well, I choose the same guy who it was previously. Okay. I just want to see how my uh, elections go before I end the episode. I know I was about to end it, and then I'm like, ooh, but what about? Anyway. Uh, this is a war widow. We can lose some stress here, or I can say, I'm going to ignore you. It's only this, this county that gets the negatives. I don't care. Sacrifice I'm willing to make. How's our succession looking? Four titles will go to Gurley. This Empire title... Wait, this Empire of Russia through Confederate Partition? Oh no, I've broken it. <laughs> um, let me just have a look at vote score here. No, people are not changing their vote. They are just not changing their vote at all. Let me find some... Yeah, so you're voting for her. Why? 
Um, she is, has great prowess. Okay, they both have great prowess. She's a soldier. She, this one's a diplomat and has a strong... It's the strong claim on the title, I think, is the main one. Yeah, that's a big one. If that was on this side, it would change a lot of them. She is a strong woman. Is that, like, literally she has the strong trait? No. What, what causes the... She is a strong woman to pop up. She's a brilliant woman. She is a strong woman. Okay, is that to... Is that to do with prowess, maybe? Right, no, it's not to do with prowess. Why? Oh, it's because she's got uh, Amazonian. Oh, it's Amazonian versus uh, intelligent. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to change my vote back then. Uh, Ingerther. Uh, yeah, vote score back to Ingerther. Also, because it's going to somebody who isn't my... Um, like, who isn't my child, it also, I think, means that a confederate partition doesn't kick in. Which is, in of itself, quite valuable. Yeah. I think that's quite valuable. Because it doesn't... Well, actually, it is creating the Empire of Russia. But it's giving it to Ingerther. Which is fine. Is that because we can... Oh, it's because somebody went and took the rest of Ruthenia. <laughs> oh, I see. It's because somebody took this land. Yeah, when, when did this become my land? You inherited it. Okay, that's not really what I was asking. I was more asking when, when the land became ours, but... Okay. Sure. We, we control, like, all of this now. And Chernigov. Yeah, which also became ours at some point. Yeah, I'm sure Ruthenium used to be much larger here. Also, what's happening here? It's war against the tyranny. Alright, well, that's fine. Also, what's happening in Permia? How could Permia be going bad? Um, defending in a war against the tyranny. Okay, but like, what happens if you um, you be deposed and there be a new person in charge of our religion? All right, sure, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.